welcome to Grumblings of a Gaming Grignard. I'm Tom. I recently played in a game where my character was party to an assorted lot of Dungeons and Dragons characters of different races. While my character was a human, in the party we had a dragonborn, an elf, a half-elf, and a furbog, which, based on the player's character portrait, I thought looked something like a bipedal elephant. I will come back to the furbog later. In a sewer dungeon, we came upon an ogre, and the party immediately wanted to attack and kill it. With my character, I also hadn't attacked anything this session, so I was looking forward to some combat too. However, at that moment, a stream of consciousness came to me regarding the irony, or one of many ironies, of Dungeons and Dragons. I'm an old school gamer. Back in the day, we would have killed an ogre, orc, goblin, and probably a dragonborn and furbog on site. Nonetheless, here we were, a mishmash party of exotic races adventuring together, but still willing to immediately kill another race based upon our preconceived notion of what it was. The not in-game political correctness of today dictates that we look past what is on the surface. This has also translated itself in many ways into Dungeons & Dragons, where players are encouraged to embrace diversity, but I would argue only among the character races. With that, how do we collectively rationalize the in-game embracement of player character races while abhorring the monster races? There's an irony there worth investigating. Not just the irony of the diversity, but the irony of the us, the party, versus them, the monsters, approach to Dungeons & Dragons. This having come to me, I decided to have my character play on this dichotomy, play on this irony. My character mustered an eloquent speech, berating those who would judge this ogre merely on its appearance. He then sheathed his sword and approached the ogre with an outstretched hand. Our DM could easily have had the ogre attack my character. As my character was only level 3, the ogre probably would have killed him. Instead, I think the DM saw an opportunity to have a role-play moment. After conversing with the ogre, we learned that his name was Puppy and that he belonged to a little girl. How totally cool. With my character leading the way, we befriended the ogre, and we escorted the ogre out of the dungeon to freedom in the woods. As for a little girl who has a pet ogre, I think our party will be paying her a visit. With this and moving ahead, I think my character is going to try, try to genuinely subscribe to the philosophy, don't judge a book by its cover. It might lead to some more interesting roleplay moments, as it did that night. It might also get my character killed. Oh well. On the other hand, my campaign, the campaign that I DM, that campaign is a semi-historical campaign based in Europe in the early 14th century. It is Dungeons and Dragons, so there are some other races and other creatures. However, humans are the predominant race. While we don't address human racial differences, a few humans embrace the plethora of Dungeons & Dragons species, and many others see them as some abhorrent aberration. To establish the setting and feel of this campaign, this is a deliberate element in the narrative. I have occasionally taken some heat for this. I'm okay with that. I absolutely love high fantasy, but I also think there's a place for very low fantasy as well. As to the furbog that I said I would get back to, it turns out that a furbog is not a bipedal elephant man. I didn't know. The image of the bipedal elephant man was just an image that the player thought was cool. So he chose, so he chose it to be his and his character's icon. Again, I didn't know. In the end, we're living in an interesting time. While there's much room to grow, diversity, or the lack thereof, is being talked about, written about, rallied for, and incorporated into Dungeons and Dragons. 
While it's being addressed, the new approach also highlights the ironic nature of the us versus them dichotomy that still exists. I will end my diatribe there. Please like, subscribe, and roll a seven-sided die.